We are at McGilvray Road and Blooming Point Road, which is about 20 minutes outside of Charlottetown. It's up in the Trackety area, just off Trackety Bay. About 300 yards that way where we're headed is Trackety Bay and 16 Sunset Court, which is the listing we're going to be taking a look at today. So come on with me. Okay, so here we are at 16 Sunset Court, and that is Trackety Bay in the background behind us there. You can see the cottages along there. That view is not likely to change in the coming years. All of those properties are owned and pretty much established the way they're going to be. The property, it's a good size. It's just under an acre. It's about 0.8 of an acre. And the woods are to the back of the property. They are probably about a third of the property is wooded. And the home is built at or above code for most of what has been constructed. And I'd invite you to come on in. Let's go take a look. What you can see here is they've completed the framing for the deck and some of the timbers on the outside. Uh, the railings are just temporary. You can also see that the, it's sided uh, for most of the way around. It needs some completing on the sides and to the back. It's a steel roof. Everything is well constructed. The underpinning is good and solid. It's all concrete and sauna tubes. As I say, everything is at or above code. Two by six, actually it's two by ten construction of the joists uh, on the underside. Let's go in and have a further look. Okay, we're inside. As you can see, it's a steel front door. Very good uh, quality thermal windows here, double glazed, vinyl framed windows. Um, the interior of this place is framed out. It needs drywall, it needs floor finishing, it needs your paint, it needs everything you would do to put your finishing touches on this and make it your home. The layout here is kind of a living room and kitchen area here. I guess it's going to be up to you whether or not uh, the living room goes this, to the left or to the right. I mean, at this stage, you can pretty much replan it however you want with layout. There's a second room here. I suppose it could be a bedroom if you want it to be. It could be a storage. It could be laundry. A third room here. You can see the panel is in place. There is power to the panel. It's a good modern full, you know, breaker panel. The joists in here are all silent floor joists. Um, again, you've got good, strong uh, structural 2 by 10 under the whole house. You've got stairs going up to the top before we get there. A peek out the back here. You can see where the woods start at the back of the property. And when you get to the very back of the property, which is a little ways back, you then border onto crown land. So the likelihood that that is going to be developed in anyone's lifetime is pretty slim. So let's make our way upstairs to the second floor in the three bedrooms. What we come across first is an area which I guess could be designated as an office space. It could be additional storage space. It could be a sitting room, a reading room, whatever you'd like it to be. Again, you can see there's windows all around here. There's good lighting up here. One secondary bedroom here with closet. It's a good sized bedroom. An additional bedroom on the other side with three windows as well. And we step into the back, and I love this. It's a nice big master or shall we say primary bedroom that goes from one end to the other. This is a good size room and it leaves you with a great raised up view looking out over Trackety Bay. That's a nice view. Say for the flies in the window but that's what you get when you're in a, a home that's under construction. Something I would consider doing here and maybe the the buyer will consider as well is changing out this window for a sliding door, installing a porch patio to sit out on that you can walk out onto from the bedroom, look out over that beautiful view. That would also double as a covered area over the main floor decking area. So if you're interested in this property or any other properties here on Prince Edward Island, let me turn that around. Uh, just give me a shout, my name's Mike Montague. Remax Charlottetown. I'd love to talk to you about your real estate purchase or selling plants. Thanks for tuning in.